And I was thinking like, I'm not catching a fish out of here. And as soon as I thought that in my head, I see this bass wake at this and just demolish it. What's up everybody? I'll start back here today for another video. Today, I got the two little travel rods right here. I got my pack and we're going to my neighborhood ponds, my two ponds in my neighborhood. And uh, they're the word, I, I, saw this, I saw this video idea from Lojo Fishing a while ago and I really wanted to do it. It made me think, it made me think about my two ponds. They used to be really good. They got super overfished and now it's super hard to catch any fish. And uh, yeah, so it is fit. Today I'm fishing the worst ponds that I know of and we're gonna try to catch fish in them. It should be a pretty hard challenge. It's pretty cold out today too. And yeah, so it's gonna be a good one. Uh, I mean, the weather's cold. That's not good for fishing. And I mean, on top of that, you can't really catch fish in there even in the summer. So we're really gonna try today. We're gonna go for a couple hours and see what we can do. And uh, I think I got some tricks up my sleeve to catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get on some big ones and uh, I'll see y'all there. All right, so I'm using this black and blue jig here. The water here is actually pretty clear. And with how finicky these bass are, I'm probably gonna throw this black and blue around for a while because in parts of it, it isn't that clear and they might be deep right now especially with the cold they just came in but i'm thinking i don't know they could be on beds but if this black and blue doesn't work after a while i'm definitely changing to a uh, more clear bait but yeah i've caught pretty nice ones on this craw here not on this, but on a different crawl. And I think we got a good chance of hooking into at least one of them, hopefully. The only thing, the only problem we got here is just all this grass that's getting on the bait. That sucks. It's annoying. Give a good cast out of that fountain out there. Actually, might be a bed right here. Maybe. Y'all see that? Right there. Hmm. I mean, so far, this pond's proven my point, though. That is a money cast right there. Right next to them trees in the water. Yeah, this water's pretty clear though. I might have to switch to a uh, green pumpkin something. All right, we're switching. I'm tying on a green pumpkin jig. And if that don't work, then we're going to just green pumpkin Texas rig. Plain old. This one's got rattles on it. Definitely going without the rattles. Maybe, I don't know. Switch presentation up. All right, guys, this jig right here looks freaking money. It's huge, and we probably aren't gonna catch any dinks on it. But you know, I say that we probably will. But I mean, I say we got a chance at it. That is the most perfect cast I've ever had in my life. Looking for the big bites right here. I wanna catch a big one. I haven't had any hits, any bites, anything the entire time I've been here. In fact, I don't even think I've seen a bass. Who knows? I wonder if a cheddar baby working here. I don't know. I mean, literally, I've not got a single bite on anything. Last year, I fished this pond pretty dang heavy in the uh, fall. Just to go fishing every now and then. And I used everything. Now with it getting warmer, 
it should be easier, but at the same time, there's, oh my God, I have a stick on my thing or something. I thought I had one. <sighs> That's what we're running with. This is annoying. We have caught big fish out of here though. Oh man, that was probably a bass right there. I can't believe I just did that. This tree down in the water over here, it looks good. Flip right in next to that. Holy, <laughs> there's a snake right there guys. What the heck? It's the second time I've ever seen a snake in this lake. All right. Moving spots. This would just make me mad. Oh man. That was another big snake. What the heck? That snake was big. Had a weird encounter with a snake uh, kayaking the other day. Literally put me on my back in the water. So if you guys want to see that, I'll link that. Dude, I just want to catch one fish. One fish is not three ounces. And I used to hook in the fish down here all the time. I don't know what happened. I wonder if all the catfish in this pond kind of ate all the bait. Now the bass just died off. Or you just got super fish, but no one really fishes this pond for bass that I see. What could be making it even tougher is if the fish are laying eggs right now as well. So if they're spawning completely right now, and the spawn is happening. Pretty sure something in there but the spawn's happening right now they'll go on a little off period and they won't eat anything it'll be a lot harder at least it's one fish come on guys now on the other hand I could just be using a completely wrong bait we ain't here to catch no dinks. It's a fish is a fish though, especially here. The conditions are perfect though. If it was just a little bit warmer before today, and we got a light breeze, spotty clouds, freaking bird just scared the crap out of me because now I think there's snakes everywhere. All right, we're switching to a Texas rig. Either a weightless fluke or something, or we're just going with a straight worm or crawl. But I think if they didn't bite on this crawdad, they're not going to really bite on anything. But the Texas rig is a lot smaller presentation. I just I'm struggling to figure figure out why. Like most of the time you'll know when a pond's overfished and all that and this pond is overfished but i mean it isn't overfished that bad and when it is fished it's for catfish and stuff not all these bass in here and, and you know, maybe there's no bass in here anymore and that's why i'm not catching any but we did catch a pretty decent one last summer Sure, there are very few. On this one last cast. Oh my freaking gosh. <sighs> Alright, guys. So I cast, you see that thing? It's like the furthest point out of the water cast way far of it brought it back over brought my bait back over it so it just popped in the water real quick 
I felt a tap on it. I see my line start going left. I load back, set the hook. I must have pulled it out of the fish. My hookup ratios with these jigs are just terrible. So, oh. I think I just got thumped again. Maybe there's a bed right there. But, yeah. Maybe, I don't know, it could have been a smaller fish anyway. If it was a big fish, I'm sure it would have freaking slammed it. But, that sucks. All right, y'all, this bait's going to be money here. I didn't even think about it, but freaking Ned Rig. Maybe the small bass will eat it. Maybe the big bass will eat it. Every bass will eat it, so... That's what we want to throw. See what we can do. Well, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a freaking snake right there uh, laying on that log. And another one just went in the water. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, I see the other one. Yeah, there's two snakes right in front of me right now. That's cool. Maybe they're brothers or sisters or something. I wonder if I could catch one. Guys, oh my god, I'm so sorry I was not filming, but look at what I just hooked into. This freaking isn't, I mean, this is a good pound, pound and a half, but okay, so I'll show you all what I was doing. I threw it accidentally straight into those reeds right there, and I was reeling it back super fast, literally on top of the water. I see this guy wake from out of the reeds, smashes this freaking Z-Man. Uh, Z Man, I don't even, TRD, uh, freaking, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I'm kind of really freaking hype right now. That is a nice fish coming out of this pond. Um, I don't think he was spawning, but this is a really healthy fish, guys. He just smashed it right there. I saw him hit it right here, and then I see him. I, I waited, so I made sure I had him. And he, <laughs> I set the hook. I tried to turn the camera on before I set the hook, but apparently I didn't press the button. But it, right, right there. What mattered more was catching the fish rather than uh, actually getting the hook set. Man, I was just in my head. I was like, if I can catch a fish out of this place, I'm doing something right. And I ain't trying to brag, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, man. He just inhaled this thing. I ain't trying to hurt him, but whew, that is freaking sick, guys. Wow, that is about a pound, pound and a half. Really freaking healthy fish, y'all. Really healthy fish. I'm so stoked. Let's go. I mean, that ain't a bad guy at all, especially out of here, out of this impossible pond. Challenge freaking complete. Heck yeah. I'm going to give him some water real quick, get him back in there. But first, I want a picture. So now for the release of the big girl we gotta get her back fast and she is gone let's freaking go honestly guys i was just i was literally thinking in my head if i can catch a fish out of here I'm like that's really freaking good and i was thinking like i'm not catching a fish out of here and as soon as i thought that in my head i see this bass awake at this and just demolish it and I got my heart racing I really wish I got that on camera guys that would have been sick I wasn't even recording I can't believe I wasn't recording but that was freaking sick I didn't even expect to catch fish today honestly I was losing so much hope and that girl or that big girl or guy came out of nowhere and just slammed it so stay tuned y'all we're gonna try to get on some more that was a pretty nice fish there especially for the pond I'm fishing in right now Especially for the bottom fishing right now. Let's go. Freaking could have been throwing that dang Ned rig all day. Ned rigs, ponds, creeks, anything. Best bait you can throw for everything. Stay tuned. 
I can't, I, I really can't believe I caught that, guys. You'd be so, so, like, off camera, I've spent so many hours trying to catch fish here. Like, all the time. And I've never done good. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna keep moving. That fish isn't eating, and I don't have my bag on me to really mess him or make him mad. So, I'm just gonna leave him be. Maybe come back there another time and try to catch him, but uh, he wasn't eating anything. He nipped my bait once, and that was about it. Well, guys, that is it. I'm pretty proud of myself. I only caught that one fish, but it was a big one. Well, pretty decent one and it was out of this pond which is probably the worst in the area which i honestly guys i've not caught a decent bass out of here in a long time so that just shows how far i've come bass fishing wise and um it's right in this pond they're laying eggs right now they ain't really feeding too well and i mean that's just freaking sick guys so i'll see you guys whenever i'm at my house but we caught that one fish out of this pretty bad pond, honestly. It's pretty garbage. And yeah, I mean, it was, it was a decent fish. I'm proud of myself. I didn't say we'd catch a lot today. And I honestly didn't expect to catch one at all. So, I mean, that was pretty sick. All right, y'all, I'm back at my house now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys want to see another video like this, Leave it down in the comments. Let me know if you liked it. I uh, I actually kind of liked it. It was a it was a big challenge for myself, and uh, but I had fun. So I mean, I mean, it really was fun in the end, and I enjoyed it. So if you guys want to see it again, drop it down in the comments. I'd sure appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a like, and uh, if you if you really want to, go hit the subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. We caught that one fish on the Ned rig, literally waking. I accidentally turned the off or I turned the camera off as it was hitting you know, the bait, so that sucked. But you guys could see it attack, and that was really the coolest part of it. So you guys stay tuned. I post every every like two or three days, and I got a ton of good content coming out soon. I'm going to Lake Cumberland here this weekend for like four days, and we're gonna get on a ton of fish. So stay tuned, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.